Hello, this is Carol Lemke from BC Gurus, and this is part four of the Secure Zone series. In this video, we will be jumping into BC and going through login forms and the forgot password link. To give you a basic introduction to what we will be covering, first we will be reviewing the insert login form, how to insert it, and what system pages to be aware of. Next, we will look at the password reset link. This is added with the login form and also reviewing what system pages and emails are used for resetting a password. Next, we will jump into Facebook and how to integrate a Facebook login with your secure zone so people can log in using their Facebook credentials. And in order for the Facebook integration to work, we do need to link the website to the Facebook app and I'll review how to do this and where to get information on how to do this. So how to insert a login form. By using the module manager you are able to insert a secure zone login form. You can insert this on a web page, in a template, in a content holder and so on. It just depends on you know how your site is set up. For this example we will be inserting a login form onto a web page. To do this, open up your module manager, go to Secure Zone, and select Secure Zone Sign In Form. You can choose to insert the generic Secure Zone login box or a specific Secure Zone login. If you choose to insert the generic login, the user will be logged into the Secure Zone they belong to. If you insert a specific zone login, the user will be logged into that Secure Zone and once they log in, they will be redirected to the landing page for that secure zone. After you choose your area, you can use an image for the login button or just insert it as is. So now that the login form is all set up and ready to go, the user can do one of two things. They can log in successfully to a specific secure zone, be directed to the appropriate landing page and continue on or they can fail at logging in and be directed to one of three system pages. These system pages are located under Site Manager, System Pages, Secure Zones. The first one is Secure Zone Access Expired. This error is displayed if a user's access to a secure zone has expired. The second is Secure Zone Access Denied. This error is displayed if a user unsuccessfully tries to log into a secure zone. And the last one is Secure Zone Logout Page. So this message is displayed when a user logs out of his secure zone. So they won't necessarily see this if they fail at logging in, um, but it's another Secure Zone page you will need to be aware of. Make sure to customize these to your liking. Uh, one idea is to add a login form to each of these pages so that when a user attempts to log in and they fail, they don't have to find the original login page. They can just access the login form from one of these system pages. Or perhaps for the registration expired system page, maybe include a registration form or contact information so they can extend their subscription. Another page, another system page to possibly add this login form to would be the secure zone unauthorized page, the general page. So if someone has a link to a secure content item and they go to it, um, instead of just saying you do not have access to this, please log in, um, you could include a login form. So if they do have access, it would save them time. They could log in right then and there instead of going to the sign in page. So the password reset. The password reset is automatically included in the secure zone login form. A user will click it to reset his or her password which takes them through a series of system pages and messages. Once clicked, the user is directed to a system page password retrieve request. This is found in the site man manager under system pages under users. The password retrieve request page is where the user will enter in his or her email address and hit submit. Once the form is submitted, the user will be directed to another system page called Password Retrieve Confirmation. This is just saying that their email address was accepted and they'll be getting a email soon about password reset information. The email they will receive is the Password Retrieve email. This is located under Site Manager 
system emails users. In this email, there will be a link to a system page where the user will go to reset their password. The system page that they are redirected to is called the password reset page, which is also under users in the system page area of the backend. Once the user types in their new password and confirms it, submits that form, they will be redirected to the last system page, which is the password reset success page, saying that their password was reset. Be sure to customize all of these system pages and the system email that is sent. A really great feature on BC is the integration of social media. Instead of logging into a secure zone the usual way with a BC form that we learned to set up, a user is able to register and log in to a secure zone using their Facebook account. For new users of the site, a customer profile is still created and their details are stored in the CMS. To add a Facebook login to your site, you'll use the module manager to insert the Facebook login. So what you want to do is open that up and go to social media and select Facebook login. From here, you can choose what secure zone the user is to be logged into or just you can choose to log them in in general. For new users, you can specify if they should be subscribed to the secure zone above or redirected to a specific page. When you're all done, you can also choose to customize. You can choose a different image instead of using the Facebook button image, and you can also choose to alter the text. When you're all done, hit insert. And if we look at our Facebook login, uh, we can see for returning customers, there's the basic email address, password login, um, and you can sign in, or you can choose to log in with Facebook. If you click login with Facebook, you'll notice that you'll get an error and Facebook login is currently unavailable. This happens because you need to link your account with your Facebook app in order for this to work. So you'll need to do two things set up your app at developers.facebook.com and also integrate your app with your BC account under social integration in the back end. So when you're at developers.facebook.com, I'd recommend you go reading through the documentation for Build for Websites so you can get an idea of what's going on. Next, you'll need to go to Apps, and you need to be logged in in order to do this. Once you are logged in, go to Create New Web App, and here you only need to fill in the app name, and this is what the user will see when they log in. So make sure the name appears relevant to your site, so probably it would just be a good idea to have your company name on it. It'll tell you if it's valid, and if it is, hit continue. Enter in the CAPTCHA, and your app is set up. So a few more things. In the back end of your site, navigate to Site Settings, Social Integration, and you want to grab the App ID, the App Secret, and the site URL for the Facebook application. So App ID, App Secret, and to add the site URL to the Facebook app, open up Website with Facebook Login, enter in your domain, save changes, and then add that here. When you're all done, hit save. So after all this is set up, then users will be able to log in with their Facebook account.